everyone, my name's Silver, welcome back to the channel, and today guys, I got some Vanguard news. This might not be the video you were expecting, well, it should be because the thumbnail and the title, but that's besides the point. I will have Fortnite coming back really soon guys, I'm sorry I've been away, and I'm sorry I didn't cover some of this news yesterday when it came out. I wasn't feeling very well, as you might have heard from my live stream if you catched it, and if you haven't caught my live stream, guys, go check it out. Honestly, I have a lot of fun streaming stick fight and other games with my friends, and I think I'm going to continue doing that in the future. But that's besides the point today, guys. We have some Vanguard news, and let's cover it. Alrighty. So we're going to start off with some of the boring stuff, and we'll eventually get to the new Overlord unit if you have yet to see its skill. But there is a lot of stuff to cover, so this video might be longer than expected. We're going to hop right into it now. We're going to start off with a new character confirmed. That's right, guys. Bushiro has confirmed a new character. Well, not a new character, because if you read the mangas, he's part of it. <clears throat> but I have a description here in front of me. And I'm going to read it off. I'm going to try to read his name, but I don't think I will be. Um, Let's see. Oh, nope. That's, I don't think that's his name. All right. Well, I don't know exactly who he is. Uh, someone in the comments can tell me, but I'll read what he what he is or what he's involved with and we'll go from there So he's from the manga like I said, he's a member of the Foo Fighters He's noted noted as seeking fierce fighter fierce fights with opponents in the manga He terrorizes various card shops with electric shock game boards to scare players and owners into shutting down as and he uses mega colony deck based around the machining set it is unknown, despite being based on the manga, if this will carry over to the TV show. Guys, so that this is who this fighter is. Or I assume is, because that's what the picture of the news was. So, I hope I'm not wrong. But, we're adding in a new character already to Vanguard the V error. Which is good, because that means there is a new rework. It also means we're probably going to see machining, which I'll cover that sort of news towards the end. But it's kind of interesting to see that we might get an actual character to terrorize our hero, Aichi Sendo, or try to. I'd honestly love to see them. I know this is meant to be a young adult or teenage or kids card game, whatever you want to label it as. We're adding in a shocking game board to shock you as you play. But really, it wouldn't be all that different from G-Series when Xion had to fight um, his old school friend, against Shadow Paladins and the boards shocked you. This was back in like season one when the whole Unite Sanctuary branch was all about victory and winning and that sort of weird thing. All right, so now we're gonna move on to other anime news. Um, I'm gonna show you guys some art of characters that Bushiro has decided to release. So starting off, we have Aichi Sendo. I figured he would probably be the more popular option to show at the beginning. Um, so this is just what his art's gonna look like and this is a zoomed in version or a zoomed out version. And I just like the look of it. Um, it's just a really nice, cl clean, crisp Aichi Sendo. Honestly, I like the new animation style that I hope Bushiro will stick to in their future content of what this is doing. But yeah. So, Aichi Sendo, ladies and gentlemen, not too much to say. There wasn't any news on it. No translation of the text around here besides Q4 that I can understand. Um... So yeah, that's Aichi Sendo. Moving right along as well, we also have, uh, uh, what's his name? Oh god, um, dumb, dumb guy. I'm drawing a blank here, I'm sorry. Um, oh, that was his name. Um, yeah, so we have Moraki, Mor, Mor, Moriaki. Wow, that was, I drew, was drawing a blank there. His name's right there. Um, and Shin. So, obviously, we get a little bit of art plus the new bad guy, which I think was the main point of the spread. And some other fighter I'm not familiar with. And please ignore that my friend is playing dual links. Um, well. So, yeah, we have another fighter I'm not familiar with. Stepping into the fray as well. So, we have two new fighters joining the V error, which is nice. I love calling it the V error. That's such a nice name for it. So, yeah, um... Interesting stuff. I like Shin's redesign. 
not really too much. It looks like they're pulling some aspects from G. He's not always wearing an apron, which will be kind of nice. Maybe we'll actually get to see Shin fight in Season 1. We never get to saw him fight. Um, we also have some Kamui art, which isn't really all that shown off, and Misaki, and, um, Mi Miwa art, which is also really nice. Um, I'm glad to see that they at least gave, are doing proper justice to the characters. Um, it looks like there's a piece of tape here as well. So let's go over this. Oh god, that is super zoomed in. I am sorry. I am not gonna do that. Never mind. Misaki's face. Um, so yeah. Just this is just anime redesign for art. Something I felt like needed to be covered. Moving right along, we're going to start showing off new units to the series. And then we'll talk about other things that are to fruition. Oh, I forgot about Ren. Ren was here as well. There is Ren. You wanted to see what Ren looked like in this series? Well, not a lot's changed in his outfit from season one. For all you Ren fans, there he is. Look at him. Alrighty. I think that's about it for that. Now we're covering new units. I know what I'm talking about and how my think screenshots are set up. This is the new unit. Knight of Silence Galatine. He hasn't changed. No, I'm joking. This is the old art. I wanted to address the no, ooh, new and old art. So this is the new art that we're seeing. Um, some weird monsters in the background his suit is slightly different as you can see this one looks where he's fighting actual knights in the background this one is fighting monsters and look at just look at his look at the art difference so this one is more more manga or anime art and i don't know how i feel about it he's just a vanilla 10k um some of the major differences to look at is how the grade twos are done um, there's a whole new color system that we're gonna, well, it doesn't really matter, but I liked how that grade zeros had no bars, grade twos had two bars, grade ones and grade threes, so on and so forth. Besides the point, um, also his shield has gone from a 5k to a 10k as we knew about already. Um, it looks like vanillas are gonna still be 10k, which is a bit odd to me. I thought they were going, I thought they would go up to 11k. Maybe Night of Silence will have a skill that we don't know about yet, but... Uh, as we know, Blaster Blade is a 10k grade 2, leading the impression that um, 9k's were going up to 10, 10k's were going up to 11 since grade 3's were at 13. And obviously, the next unit I'm about to show you is different. So that's Knight of Silence Galantine. There's um, major art differences that I really like and dislike with it. Um, I, I plan on probably dedicating a video later this week to this, maybe... We'll see, but we're going to go on to the next unit, which is the new grade one that we saw in the trailer, guys. And that is the wonderful Knight Squire Allen. He's an 8k unit with 10k power, and he has a skill that I'm super intrigued about and I do see being played for at least a bit in decks until we know what the booster set is going to hold. So his skill is an auto rear. When this is placed, you may pay the cost. Counter blast one, call one card with a grade less than or equal to your vanguard from hand to rear. If called, draw a card, and then this unit gets 3k power until end of turn. That makes him an 11k booster and fills up a unit and fills up columns. So depending on what the trial deck holds, this unit will actually be powerful. Because if you're at grade three, you call a copy of this to rear you can then activate the skill call a grade three or a grade two grade one grade zero whatever you need to fill out your rear guards then you're going to replenish the hand by one and gain 3k so he'll be 11k he'll be a nice starting unit because if you get a hand with three grade ones you can ride a grade one call this guy counter blast one if you have a counter blast i'm assuming you wouldn't have it at grade one but Unless your hand is just terrible, which is okay. And then you call another unit. And it's just a good card. I see people running at least two or three of these. Um, depending on, again, what comes out, what else comes in the trial deck and in future stuff. So we're going to move along to the next unit. Uh, that's sort of all the Royal Paladin news we have right now, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, Kagero got a lot of um, information leaked. I love the art of this card as well, so... That's a thing. 
But next, my theory was confirmed. We got Vortex Dragon back. So if you guys don't know, I didn't actually pull up an old image of this, which now makes me feel like scum. But Vortex Dragon was an old card. And this one has a new skill. It's not a Mega Blast, but that's okay. We can live without Mega Blast. Um, let's see. So his new skill, I have it up right here in front of me. He's obviously a grade 3 with Twin Drive. Um, once per turn, Counter Blast 2. Choose one of your opponent's rear guards, retire it. If the number of cards in your damage zone is 5 or more, discard all cards in your hand and retire all of your opponent's rear guards. An auto vanguard, during your turn, when your opponent's rear guard is retired, this unit gates 5k power until end of turn. His first skill is a vanguard skill only, whereas his second skill is um, vanguard and rear. So this card is definitely different from his predecessor, which I'm pulling up on screen now. Give me a second to enlarge the image for you guys. Boop, 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 boop. And you should see it on screen right about now. There you go. So this is the old Vortex Dragon. Same naming everything. Um, Again, this art is more anime or manga style, which I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that. But I'm going to learn to live with, obviously, because I don't have a choice. So let's cover the old one skill. And obviously some differences is the look. I'm not too sure how I feel about the look. So Vortex Dragon has been a card that has gone through many changes in the era, but it is nice to see that we are getting some adjustments to him. So his old skill was at the beginning of your main phase, Soul Charge 1, this unit gained, gains 2 take until end of turn. Soul Blast 8, Counter Blast 5, choose up to 3 of your opponent's regards and retire them. Not the greatest skill, I think this skill is obviously better, um, but going off of it, discard your entire hand i see this card being a unit that you use when um you don't have a lot of cards in hand or no cards at all as sort of a final board wipe because if you attack with him as a vanguard you're only going to get two cards back so his skill is definitely a dual edged sword in i did say counter blast art um things to note about him as well is that he just looks amazing and they changed up how you can tell the rarity so if you look down here you can see a single rare um they don't have one here for it this is trial deck one and sp down here so yeah that's vortex dragon ladies and gents moving on to the next one we have the gift marks for dragonic overlord a nice improvement to the series as we know we know the force gift mark gives a vanguard or rearguard circle 10k and i think 2k if there are two or more gift marks on it so each trial deck is going to come with three gift marks as stated earlier so this is the information i have here for you on the gift marks the starter deck starter deck kai toshiki features three force cards one of which will have has special art of dragonic overlord a thing to note is this card can be hawk stamped like pr like prior cards in the series and i believe even the unique dragonic overlord art can be as well and that's just something to take note of Alrighty, so that's all that news moving along we have the new dragonic overlord the card you guys clicked on this video for dragonic overlord Nothing has changed about him whatsoever, and I literally mean that. His skill almost mirrors his original, but let's just go over what he does. So his first van slash rear guard skill is, um, by paying the cost, which is a soul blast of one, during this turn, this unit gains 10k. So he's getting, so I already see how the strat's going to work. When you ride him, you get the imaginary gift. You're going to put it on your Vanguard Circle, which gives this already a 10k boost. So he's now at 23k. And then you're going to give him another 10k. Give him 33k. And that's just if you, this is the first time you've ridden him. If you ride him a second time, you'll get another 10k from another gift. Besides the point, moving along to a second skill, which will add on to his devastating power. So he's 33k right now with no triggers. Um, When this unit attack hits... By paying the cost, counter blast one and discard two cards from hand. Stand this unit, and during this turn, during that turn, it it gains drive minus one. So it loses a drive check to restand. And this 
It doesn't specify rear guard, which is an improvement from the old Dragonic Overlord. And honestly, I think I like this card a lot better, and it's going to definitely want to make me pick up the trial deck more so than the old one ever did. Um, it's just going to be a powerful 30k swinger, and I think that's why the um, units were increased in power, or the shields were increased in power um, in the past, or to this new series. And I'm trying to pull up a new overlord for you, which I got right here, so that's popping up on screen now. So this is the old overlord, which was, if you do not have a Kagero Vanguard... Or rearguard, this unit gets minus 2k, so it went from being 11k to 9. Counter blast 3. Until end of turn, this unit gets plus 5k, and this unit gets... Once you attack, hits an opponent's rearguard, stand this card. It loses twin drive, meaning it got a single drive check. Which was okay back then. It was a good card, but I think the new one covers for it now. And finally, guys, whew, we've been talking a lot. So I'm going to try to finish this up real quick. We're already at 16 minutes in. Like I said, there was a lot of news. And I might edit this to break it up. But last but not least, we have the new set. The Devastating Roar. Which contains, if I remember correctly, Tachikaze, Mega Colony, and Murakumo, right? Tachi oh no, Spike Brothers. Spike Brothers is the other clan. So guys, this is going to have stuff for machining, and I'm assuming Rex, and also, um, who else will be in here? There's just going to be a lot of cards. I don't see anything specific for, um, Spike Brothers right now. Um, one thing to understand is that we are getting some stride units, which I'll cover here in a second. Um, we're getting new cards of Maximum Juggernaut, or Juggernaut Maximum, and Machining Stag Beagle, which should be nice. So I believe this was a Fighter's Clutching Unit, and this was in the very first set. So we're getting new cards of this. I'll be covering that as soon as they come out. I don't want to drag this out too much longer, so we're going to cover into the units that are getting new, or that are getting strides placed in. So for the case, that means you have to buy a whole case, not a box, a case. These cards will be inserted to each case. We're going to get a Poison, poison Sickling Mutant DD Overwhelm, which was the newest um, Mega Colony stride. We're going to get Great Villain Dirty Pycro. Um, that was a really good Spike Brother card, I believe, for strides. And obviously a really good card for um, Tachikaze Destruction Tyrant Gluttony Dogma. So... This really brings a lot of hope to a lot of Vanguard players' eyes because Bushiro could have ignored Stride series, but they're giving us some unique strides per case. They're probably going to be promo art or something like that, but it's nice to see that they're paying attention to some of the Stride decks for premium and giving us some support. I'll be covering that later in a video as well. Last thing to cover for news, thank god my voice is killing me, it's screaming in agony. The last thing is we just have some new sleeves. That's about it. That That's literally, we have an orange sleeve and a vanilla sleeve. And they're based off these foods here. I won't go, I won't cover those right now. Um, they look nice. I'm probably not going to pick them up if, unless I can afford it. But that is everything, guys. Whew! We are done covering news for the day. So, with that being said, I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know what you want me to cover and theorize on next for Vanguard. But until next time, guys, I've been the Silver Wolf, and I will see you all later with a hopefully better and improved avatar. Peace.